welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Shirley also known as Backtalk and I do anything Disney and today what I have for you guys is part 3 of my Disney World haul that's right you heard that right part 3 we bought so much we went a little bit crazy uh, we bought a lot more than I thought we would <laughs> we took two and a half suitcases to bring everything back home do I regret it no uh, but that means I do have a lot to do and then we have some recovery to do so we can still plan for Japan next year. Uh, what I have for you today is the pin section of the haul. I am not a pin collector. I've never have been a pin collector. I only had one pin for a really long time that was Disney official and that was my Lizzie McGuire pin. And then after that, I got a couple pins from my Magic at Your Door box um, subscription, which I totally recommend. I'll put the link below. And I got Joy and Sadness in that one. And those were my three only official pins until this trip. If you can't tell, I bought a lot of pins, which is so out of my character. I think it's because I'm doing YouTube now and I'm seeing all these other YouTubers who have like pin collections and pin trading and I'm like, wow, this is a whole nother world of Disney I didn't know about. So this time I actually looked up pins. Um, all right, let's just go ahead and get started. The very first pin I wanna show you is a 2020 pin. Now these pins were on sale. Pretty much anything that had the word 2020 was on sale. Uh, just because I'm assuming they want to sell it <laughs> before 2021 merch comes out and it's because it's October and I did hear a lot of people like laugh at 2020 items that they didn't want it because this year's just been awful but I don't know I just think there's something about it um, I think it's part of history and I think it's kind of cool to have like a little keepsake of like going to Disney World now and I know it's not the best time to go and I actually probably would not recommend it unless Disney does something new um, but that's gonna be a whole nother video but there was just something still special about it and wearing a mask at Disney and just the difference so I wanted to keep that and this was only five dollars originally it was $14.99 it is five dollars I'm hoping I'm holding it right I am using a completely new camera all of my camera storage is maxed out so this is the only camera where I have storage so hopefully it's close enough otherwise I'll take pictures and I'll attach them somewhere around me yeah sorry if there's echo I have no clue how this camera's gonna work so we'll see so as you can see it spins oh wait my finger was there isn't that cute and it says 2020 around the castle it's Mickey Minnie and Goofy just having a good time I think I would be Donald in this one I love Donald though myself but he's raising his hands that's how we are Woohoo! But yeah, there, there it is. So there's the first pin I got. Five dollars could not pass that up. Um, the next two pins I'll show you are actually from Universal Studios, which I, I think it's cute that they're doing pins now. Good for them. They're also doing magnetic items like the little shoulder buddies. Um, so interesting. But the first one we got was the Universal Studios Florida anniversary pin. It's just a really shiny glittery. It says Florida 30th anniversary. Um, I think it's pretty cool that we got to go during the 30th anniversary. I love the colors. This was only $8. So really good. And I think it's something good to keep in my collection. I don't think people collect Universal Studios pins as much. But I just thought this one was super cool that I couldn't pass it up. The next one I have from the Harry Potter world is Nocturne Alley. Last time we went, I had no clue that you could actually go into Nocturne Alley. Uh, and it's so creepy. It's so cool. It's air conditioned, by the way. So if you ever need like a little break from people and a break from the heat, go in there. Not a lot of people know about it. And so because we finally found it, not that it's like hidden or anything, um, I decided to buy this pin. I love everything Harry Potter. I think they did such an amazing job. I didn't know some Imagineers actually helped create the wizarding world of Harry Potter. But yeah, I just had to corroborate that. And I think this pin is so cool. So there's that. Uh, the next one I have is not an official... Well, I don't know. This one's a question. You would have to tell me. I bought it at Target, which I know it's weird. But there's a Target near the resort and the like parks that has its own little section that's just Disney and I don't mean little, I mean like quite big section I made a video, it'll come out soon and they had pins which I found super interesting so I bought the Donald Duck because he's my favorite I, I'm grumpy like him and you know nothing so cute as that but there he is, it was $5 with our 5% off for having a card uh, he's really cute but what really intrigued me was the back of these if you look at the back of the Disney pins it's also a Mickey that looks just like it. And this has the Disney trademark. Um, so the backing is the same. I did take it off to see what the... Hold on, I'll show you. 
what the pin would say because I know you can only trade if it's actual Disney pins. So I don't think this is an official just because it doesn't have all of the extra stuff. But I found it interesting. So I don't know how these would work. I would consider these maybe fantasy pins. Not sure. You would have to tell me. But yeah, $25. Gotta love that look. Alright, let's get to the bigger ones. So the next one that I got, and this was an impulse buy because I was buying the other two and I saw this one and I was like, it's so cute, I have to have it. <laughs> so it is a um, Expedition Everest pin with little Yeti going up and down. Oh, look how cute. Obviously it's a little bit silly, but I really like cute things like this. And it just goes up and down. It was yellow, which I think is like $10 or $12 or something like that. It's just so cute. Um, Expedition Everest is my favorite ride at Animal Kingdom. Uh, so I had to get something to commemorate that ride. We only got to ride it... Oh wait, actually I think we rode it like twice or three times this time around. Last time we went, we rode it like eight or nine times. But he's just too cute. Look at him. Look at him just having a great time. <laughs> okay, the last two pins are a limited edition ones based on like the holidays. So if you go during a holiday, they have special pins, if it rains, things like that. So the first one I want to show you, actually I think I'm just going to be this one. It's a limited edition Disney Park Dia de los Muertos celebration. So because we went in October, they already had this one out. Um, this was $18, which is expensive. I think this is why I didn't collect pins because $18, it sounds like so much. But I do regret, like when we went to Paris, I didn't buy a single pin there and I regretted it. So I, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get it. So it's kind of like Coco inspired. Um, the other Los Muertos, it has a little bit of a shimmer on it. I hope you can see it. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't have a viewfinder, so I can't tell what you're looking at. Um, it has celebration. It has 2020 on the sides right here. Hold, held up by two little skeletons that are right there. Um, and then it has candles and it's just, it's just beautiful. I don't know. I love Coco just because of like the celebration, the cultural background and everything like that. So I had to get it. And then the other pin that I had to get that goes along similar lines is a limited edition villains pin that says happy Halloween. I'll probably keep this one in the case, yeah, like this thing, just because on the case it says 2020 limited edition. Uh, but it's Dr. Facilier. He is my second favorite villain. Um, you would think he's my first just because I talk about him all the time. But he's actually my second. My first one is Hades uh, from Hercules. I just like uh, Hades' uh, lack of patience. I, I'm like, yes, yes. You have all the right to be angry. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. It's so cool. So it has a voodoo doll. It says Happy Halloween on the bottom. Dr. Facilier, and then again on the cardboard it says that it's the 2020 edition. I was hoping that he was part of the parade or the cavalcades, cavalcades, mm. uh, but he wasn't, so I didn't get to see him. But yeah, I got a pin. Really excited about that. The last two items are just like little keep cheese, keep kiki, mm. knickknacks. Let's call it knickknack. So the first one is a keychain. I actually needed a new keychain. I do have a keychain for October, which I got in Paris, which is just a little Halloween like little hold on. all right hopefully i centered right <laughs> but this is a keychain that i use in october i got this last year at disney paris it's just a mickey pumpkin and in the back it says trick or treat it's just so cute but i only wear it in the month of october and then i switch it out i know a little extra but it's who i am i've always been that way <laughs> in elementary i match my socks with my shoes with my like even my headpiece would have to match so yeah but when it's not October, this is the one that I'm going to replace it with. And this one will probably be on all year round, honestly. It's a Coco one. This is red, so I think it was like $10. So it says Coco, just like the movie. And I hope it's focusing. If not, I'll take a picture. So there it is. Then it has the skeletons. So there's one. Uh, this one's a little more floral. The orange. I like this one. I think this one's my favorite just because of the expression. And then it has Ernesto de la Cruz's guitar. And guys, the, the, what is that called? Detail is insane on this. Like, just absolutely insane. Uh, it does have a little skull on the top, skull on the bottom. It has the little rivets on the side of the guitar. It's just so cute. And look how dangly this is, right? I want, like, those people who come into work, like, and their keys are just making noise. That's me. <laughs> but 
but it was so so cute and then the last thing i wanted to show you that's not a pin but it's also like in that area is the necklace that i'm wearing and i'll take it off to show you closer but it looks like this on mm -mm. but let me show you what it looks like so there was quite a bit of um, jewelry that i liked but i have a lot of jewelry and i wanted something that i could wear every day and if something happened i wouldn't be too too upset i believe this guy was only like 20 dollars so hopefully it's focusing but it says my happy place and like a gold uh heart i am not a gold jewelry wearing person uh, i usually wear silver but i like the mix of the silvers and of the metals in this necklace and then the back necklace is my favorite it's just a castle with a little hidden mickey in the middle so i, I just thought it was so cute i could see myself wearing this every single day all the time um but yeah, I had to have it and then I haven't taken it off since it got out of quarantine. <laughs> Just because it's so cute and it, it truly is a happy place. <laughs> but yeah, let me know which pins you like. Let me know if you collect pins. What do you do with them? How do you like to maneuver around your pins? I don't know if it's going to be like a forever thing. I'll probably just have a pin. Maybe I'll do like I only get one pin per visit. Um, and not go as crazy as I did this time. But I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. Because I, I already have a crazy collection of clothing and things like that. That I don't know if I should collect pins too. Let me know if you do or don't. Yeah, I would love to know. But yeah, I hope you like this part of the haul. And the other two parts of the haul. Please stick with around in my channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I am going to be posting all of our blogs for every day. At Universal Studios and Disney. Disney World. And just, you know, I have so much stored. And I'm so excited. For that i hope you like this video and until next time have a magical time <laughs> adios